thinking about. Um, like here's the thing. With, with, um, if I say Ramada, do I, does that include both of her generations? Uh, <laughs> you know something? It could, because technically that was one character. In two different forms. I, I, it, or actually in multiple forms, because while she was still trying to choose her regeneration, she came out in like what, five different forms. So, I mean, wow, you, you get like seven for the price of one with that one. I may have to, I may have to go. She was also like one of my first crushes. Oh, I mean, oh. she was, which one? The tall one or the blonde? Uh, um, the tall one, then the blonde. <laughs> yes. Actually. Yeah, yeah. That was an amazing, I mean, it was so great to see a time lord that could give the doctor a run for his money. Yes. Another character. And that, someone that, to sass back at him. Was, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Oh yeah, I mean, and I I really hope I don't know how they work work that character into the the anniversary, but I would love to see both of them show back up. Um, but yeah, it's just I just hope we don't lose anybody else because I mean after losing the Brigadier and now Sarah Jane, I just I want everybody that's still alive to stay alive, especially Tom Baker, um, because I know he I mean he's getting up there in age now. Because um, I know, I know when the the notice went out that something from Doctor Who died, a lot of people automatically assume Baker, because I mean he was really one of the next older ones that that could have gone, and that and Liz Layden, that was just a shock to everybody. I mean it just it threw me for a loop. Yeah, um, I I I actually didn't I didn't I've been I'm so terribly out of the loop that I didn't know until a few weeks ago when I shocked the hell out of me. Yeah, uh, I was at work when when I found out, and that was it for me for the day. I, I, I broke down. It was just a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. So how bad are we doing on time? Uh, you're at 17 and a half minutes. Oh, nice. And also you keep moving out of the brain. Oh, that's fine. I do that a lot. Okay, you're a little better now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's also a lot of dead time in there that you're going to need to cut out. Oh, no, so. certainly not. It, it adds for the dramatic effect. And for those that were wondering who was talking just then, that would be... Alex, uh, you might remember him from a couple of episodes ago. Um, he's the one that looked like me, but isn't me. Uh, um, so I'm gonna have to throw him in the credits now. Stunt double stand in. Yeah. Actually, yes. <laughs> yes, and that, and if if you, if you heard that, that's another one of uh, the members of One Hard Night. That's such a great name. How'd you guys come up with that? That was. That's all uh, Patrick and uh, Zach's doing. And Beatle fans. The um, yeah, Beatle fans. Nice. That's the, that's the genesis behind the name One Hard Night. You know, I was wondering that after you know seeing the thing. I mean, I, I'm loving you guys more and more because I'm a huge, huge Beatles fan. I, see, that's if you know the, the logo, it's done in that same yeah. style as. Yeah, I did. Hard day's that's night. that's what I was kind of wondering the entire time if it was if it was um, a mock That's where it actually came from. A hard day's night from the Beatles. Yeah. So. Um. So, um, we're, we're, we but should. I am just... not Ringo. Yeah, you guys aren't seeing this guy. He's awesome. Great job, okay. You're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where can people find you? Since we're, I'm going to start wrapping this up now, where can people find you? Um, we well, let's start off with. Um, you can go to www.oneheartnight.com. Yes, that one's not taken. That's really surprising because when I first went looking for your website, I was just like, no way. Yeah. That can't be their website. Yes, it is. It was, yes. And you could be able to see, I'm going to have a nice little thing down here spelled out for you, so it'll make it easier for you to find the website. Hang on, can I? Yeah, you can do that. I'm pretty good at lining that sort of thing up. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> so, um, also uh, on Facebook, and hopefully we'll have a lot more. We don't have a lot online now. We do have, we have uh, our uh, four, three or four recorded songs. Um, on uh, on uh, onehardnight.com and you can listen to and download for free and, uh, and we also have uh, I think we have the same thing on the Facebook and uh, hopefully we'll have um, videos up of upcoming uh, shows of upcoming shows <laughs> yeah. well I'm, I'm hoping if all goes well which it will because I'm me um, I'm gonna get them recorded tonight so I'm gonna, and I'll chop that down by their songs so you guys will have nice little segments which I'm looking for because I mean their their show rocked I mean. That's the reason why, you know, when I knew I was coming back here, I had to get at least one of you on tape um, in my hotel room, wearing my scarf. Um, and it was just so awesome that, you know, scarf is wearing scarf. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. gotta. I'm excited. Yeah, as you should be. But uh, thank you for giving me some, some of your time to talk about Doctor Who and your band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I can't wait to see you guys 
at the next con where our paths might cross. Um, I'm hoping, I'm guessing, maybe Dragon? Uh, Gen Con is our next one. Yeah, well, I'm going to be at Gen Con. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to be next. And the next mm. show I'm doing is Con Carolinas. I know you're not going to be there, so that leaves um, uh, Dragon. Dragon um, AWA. Nice. You know what con you should actually try to get on, get on and the, it's, a, it's a phenomenal con? This is where I plug uh, What the Hell Con. What the Hell Con is up in uh, North Carolina. It's done by Guilford College students. It's phenomenal. And they, I mean, they have bands there all the time for their shows, um, for, for their thing. It's like a little three-day mini convention. It's, it's phenomenal. It's amazing. Um, I actually know the people who put it on. I might just send them your link and, and see what they think about you guys, because I think you guys would be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, any, and also, just so you guys know, any con that I do, if, if you want to in with any of the cons, because pretty much every con ends up loving me, I know that sounds horribly egotistical, but, you know, I make sure everybody has a goddamn good time, because I shit down the room parties, and we have a blast. Um, I'll be more than happy to give you any contact information that you guys might want. All right. Yeah, like I said, these guys are awesome. You got to check them out. Listen to their music. When they get their album, buy it. Not just buy one copy, buy multiple copies, because you want to give it to all your friends. We do have free this guys on our website. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can't wait to see the zombie pictures where you guys were trying to eat me. <sighs> I, I hear that I hear that's supposed to be here at the con this at some point today. The um, actual proofs are going to be here, but the animation is not going to be done today. What? What? There's going to be animation? We're actually going to animate it. Really? Add blood. Nice. I can't wait to see it. So uh, until next time, we'll see who else we get to get. Or oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you had a chance to meet? I'm just going to keep going. Have you had a chance to meet Sophie Aldred yet? Ace. No. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, so amazingly nice. She is awesome. I gotta, I gotta find her. Where is, what's she? Is She's she, downstairs, like opposite you guys. No. But, but when they have her signing and stuff, she's just at the other end. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was downstairs earlier because <laughs> I met her yesterday, and I was just sitting downstairs, and she comes walking in, she sees me, she sits down, and we start talking. She is so amazing. I thought Amber Benson was cool, and yes, Amber Benson is extremely cool, but you know, I'm a huge, huge Doctor Who fan, so it was really cool to have Sophie was so personable, so nice, just wanted to sit down and start just chatting with you, like, hey, how you, I mean, it's, it's amazing, she's, oh, she's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta meet her. I mean, she's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is where we'll hopefully end the episode, until, unless I get another brilliant moment of inspiration, or a scarf, or my cameraman, or the guy laying on the bed provocatively, um, showing his, showing off his sexy, sexy body um, that you guys can't see. Paul, you're, you're talking about me. You're already in this bed. No, he's actually in the cameraman's bed. <laughs> well, okay, I think you're in a bed this hotel. You know something? I think that's how it starts. <laughs> well, and we, that... are, we are the gayest straight band you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, uh, and, and you heard it. Right yes, here. you you heard it. And with that, this this will end this um special episode of Gallery Pirate Radio. So, until next time, uh we uh, I'm not sure if I'll have another episode here at this con or if it will just be the regular episode where we review the two-parter of the Living Plastic. We will see you next time. Bye.